Hey, what's going on? Kyle here at Kyle TV. And this episode will be covering proof of stake. So um, first of all, why we're covering this is because Ethereum could basically hard fork to Casper a lot sooner than we expected. So Ethereum, watch out for Ethereum because it looks like they are going after Casper a lot faster than we expected, uh, which is good news. Um, I think, you know, it's good news. Some people don't like the Casper because it's proof of stake versus proof of work. But as you come down, uh, basically one of the developers is saying that, um, you know, people need to start implementing it and they are going to go ahead and move forward with testing it and things like that on their network, um, just on the test network. So that's pretty much it. It just, you know, articles left and right showing that this could be here sooner than we expected. Also, if you don't understand what proof of stake is, we'll cover that real quick. Um, you know, proof of stake, instead of mining and doing all this computational power from, you know, hardware, um, basically the owners of the cryptocurrency, the, it basically, if you hold Ethereum, um, it's basically going to, you know, resolve itself using its own coins. Um, so it's very neat, very different way. So if you hold Ethereum and you stake your coins out, um, basically you lock your coins into the system that, and they help, just because they're there, they actually help verify the system and resolve itself. Um, we won't go super detailed and super nerdy into that, but um, that's basically what it does. Um, you know, basically on, you know, Miners get rewarded. We know that with proof, proof of work, but with proof of stake, there is no block reward. So um, just be aware of that. Um, obviously, miners compete with that lottery to win the proof of work, like in Bitcoin. Um, that's why they have mining pools with proof of stake. Um, you know, it, it's way more effective, apparently, um, as far as, you know, being eco friendly because you don't need all this crazy hardware and all this crazy stuff going on. You just have these coins verifying and resolving it um, via, you know, via protocol and things like that. Um, so a lot of cool things going on with proof of stake. Um, I think it is the future if they can dial in a algorithm that and a protocol that's safe and has like replay protection and things like that, obviously. So as we scroll down, um, you know, obviously the reason, big reasons why that they want to do um, proof of stake, obviously, is the energy costs um, are paid with fiat currencies, leading to a constant downward pressure on the digital currency value. Um, and experts argue that Bitcoin transactions may consume as much electricity as Denmark by 2020. Um, so, you know, that's why these proof of stake, actually, the miners actually called forgers, like it says here. Uh, because technically they are the ones who own the coins minted or whatever, so um, and what have you. This is how our forge is selected. It, you know, it'll just come down here and explain all that. I'll leave this link in the description below so you can go ahead and read this. Um, it's really informative and a really great article by BlockGeeks.com. Um, you know, it just comes on and you know describes and goes into full detail about all this. But I pretty much hit all the basics. Now, as far as the um, cryptocurrency market right now, um, oh, and happy Black Friday, by the way. Um, I'll leave some more descriptions below. Heart, uh, Ledger, they are 21% off now through like the 27th. Um, right here, let's see if we can go to the sale. Uh, usually they have a pop-up here. My computer might be blocking those pop-ups. But anyways, I believe it's from now to the 27th. It's 21% off of Nano S orders. And also Hashflare.io up to 75% off until November 26th. So get these two things. If you want to start cloud mining, you can go here and start you know, doing script mining, um, you know, SHA mining, Ethereum, Zcash Dash. So script mining is basically you got your light coins and things like that. Um, and this is obviously, you know, the SHA-256 algorithm. Basically, that's, you know, obviously like Bitcoin and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, the prices are, are lower. So, you know, depending on which coin, um, 
Script is pretty, you know, affordable right now. They're like a 35% off just on Script Coin alone. So you can go there. I'll leave some descriptions below on that. Pretty cool stuff. Um, and also, the let's check. BitConnect is still number 21 down here. It was, you know, way up here just a few, like a month ago. Um, random article that actually was very positive about um, staking. You know, we're talking about Ethereum finally getting to staking. Speaking of the devil, BitConnect, as, as much as people hate BitConnect, you can actually stake BitConnect. And I mean, BitConnect's been staking coins for a while now. So you see kind of the value of staking coins, like Ethereum's just now getting to this. Whereas, you know, BitConnect, this is actually a positive article. This is by the Cointelegraph. Um, if, for you guys that don't know what the Cointelegraph is, um, pretty prominent media source on cryptocurrency. Um, so it just goes to say on this article, basically Bitcoin mining suited for big corporations because of the big expenses. Unless you go to hashflare.io, baby. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, you know, for the big industrial miners that, you know, want to, you know, go out there and crush it in mining, um, that are, you know, earning thousands and th hundreds of thousands of dollars, um, millions of dollars. So um, it's kind of referring to those people, you know, if you're not cloud mining, that you have to own these rigs and run them, um, that individuals can profit in other ways. Um, I won't go into full detail, but it basically just talks um, basically some good stuff about proof of um, stake. So it just says staking here, um, coin trading and coin mining, and basically the benefits of all that, easy to achieve on one platform. You can do it all on one platform. Um, you know, BitConnect's trading bot, things like that, um, the adoption rate. Um, BCC has an exceptional growth rate. So it's a very positive article on Cointelegraph. Um, you can go look that up yourself. Um, search it or whatever. I won't, I won't leave this link in the description, but um, I will leave these two and this Block Geeks article that I thought was pretty cool. But with that being said, guys, I'm gonna log off. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Um, get your get your hard secure wallet here. If you don't know what a hard wallet is, it's basically the most secure way you can store your cryptocurrencies. Um, and Ledger has a lot of support. Hashflare is cloud mining you know where you don't have to own your own rig um, you can come in here and buy these one-year contracts and, and whatnot so guys i will see you at the bank just kidding i'll see you at the blockchain and the beaches of the world